Hmm, I wonder, who will win today's battle of powers? Watch this video and find out. Because which power is bigger and why? Consider here the ratio 33 to the 22 over 22 to the 33. And notice they can be rewritten as a power of 11 because this is 33 squared to the 11 over 22 cubed to the 11. So all we need to figure out is, is the base bigger than 1 or smaller than 1? But now, 33 squared to the 22 third, that is 11 times 3 squared over 11 times 2 cubed, which becomes 11 squared times 3 squared, 11 squared times 9 over 11 cubed times 8, and well, this becomes 9 over 8 times 11, which is 9 over 88, which is less than 1. So here again, the exponent reigns supreme. Now, there is actually a better way of doing it using calculus, which I want to show you now. Because let's look at the function y equals x to the 1 over x. And let's figure out where it attains its maximum. For this, calculate the derivative using logarithmic differentiation. ln of y is ln of x to the 1 over x, which is 1 over x times ln of x, ln of x over x. Now, differentiate using the Chen Lu, for which you get y prime over y equals, so 1 over x times x minus ln of x over x squared, which is 1 minus ln of x over x squared. And therefore, y prime is just y, which is x to the 1 over x, times 1 minus ln of x over x squared. And the question is, when is this positive, when is this zero, and when is this negative? It's zero precisely when ln of x equals 1, which is when x equals e. And if x is less than e, then this becomes positive, and if x is bigger than e, then this becomes negative. So the shape of this near e is simply like that. It's increasing and it's decreasing. And in particular, the function x to the 1 over x attains its maximum at e, which is good because 33 and 22, they're definitely bigger than e. So because the derivative here is negative afterwards, the function is decreasing, so f to the 33 is less than f to the 22. So what this tells us is that 33 to the 1 over 33 is less than 22 to the 1 over 22. And now, raising this to a humongous power, namely 22 times 33, so 22 times 33, we ultimately get that 33 to the 22 is less than 22 to the 33. And yet again, the exponent reigns supreme. All right, like and subscribe, and see you next time.